for connecting. Um, this is kind of my first time doing some type of Instagram um, live program. So, um, oh, thank you, DCCD, for posting all the information. We can't read the paper that you're holding because you're using the front camera. I apologize, but um, DCCD has been really good about providing all the information um, on, on this link. Is it too late to register for summer classes? And if not, is it still online? So no, it is not too late to register for summer classes. And right now, all summer classes are online, okay? Um, yes, DCCD just posted tutorials link, so please follow that link. Uh, any other questions? Just gonna be on here for a few more minutes. Um, thank you again for, for watching and for getting informed. Again, in my advising sessions, I always really try to empower students and how to do things. So how to register, how to apply for financial aid. You need to be your best advocate in terms of advocating for your education. We're here to guide you and support you, but we really want you to take charge of your education. Uh, we thank you for selecting Dallas County Community College. It's a very affordable and accessible way to get your education. Okay, so how do I send missing documents for registration like vaccination sheets? Okay, so um, if you need to send your a proof of your meningitis, you need to send an email to bhcadmissions at dccd.edu, okay? So make sure you send that proof to our admissions office so they can remove any type of block that might be on your registration because of a missing meningitis sheet. Okay, great question, Emily. Thank you. Any other questions from our audience? What should a returning student do once they apply for FAFSA? Again, if any FAFSA related questions, please, please send an email to FACC at DCCD.edu. Again, I want when you send an email to financial aid or an advisor, my number one tip is to always include your student ID and be very specific on your questions. We are receiving so many emails every day. So if we can get all your information in that one email, then we can help you on a much faster um, faster manner. So thank you. Thank you, uh, Rosie, for that question. Any other questions before we we close our for our Instagram live academic advising session? No, no. Okay, so I do want to give some final um, thoughts and tips before we, we, we close off. So we do understand that many of our students are facing hardships through this crisis. So we have temporarily amended our refund policy for the spring 2020 semester, okay? So any student who elects to drop a course from March 16th through May 14th and does not re-enroll in any additional classes this semester will receive a 100% refund and a grade of W. The deadline to withdrawal has been extended to May 14th and it will not count against the six drop limit. So if you are struggling and this transition to online just didn't work out for you, you know, we understand and, and we're here to help you. And so if you need to drop those classes, you can drop them through eConnect or you can contact advising and we will help you drop those classes. If you are on probation um, and you're not doing well, you know that you have to maintain a 2.0 GPA every semester in order to return. So please, um, if you are struggling, and again, we understand our drop deadline has been extended to May 14th. So please reach out to an advisor or go to eConnect about dropping those courses. And also one last tip is that starting this fall, DCCD um, is going to offer a new program called Include Ed. 
include ed is um your your tuition is going to increase by twenty dollars for per credit hour so for a three credit class you're going to pay an extra 60 bucks for a four credit class you're going to pay an extra 80 dollars but this is going to include all your books and supplies so if you in the past have been worried about the the cost of two of books and supplies and it's cost you hundreds of dollars worry no more include ed is going to um, start this fall all students will automatically start in include ed and so there is a link if dccd can post it on this live feed there is a link with all information that you need to know about include ed now we do also understand that some students would prefer to buy their books or may not need a lot of books for their degree so you do have the option of opting out through eConnect. but just as a reminder that everyone is going to be automatically enrolled in include ed which is going to pay for all your tuition and your books i'm sorry it's going to pay for all your tuition um i'm sorry book supplies and books not tuition it'll pay for your your, your books sorry it, i'm almost up um but if you do not want to enroll then you can go to eConnect. but it's a really great program to help pay for your books i know how the the, the soaring cost of books can be so um, it's a really great program to help you um, pay for your books for the fall so it starts this fall not this summer and then um let's see lastly i just want to really salute our 20, 2020 graduates I know you've worked so hard for graduation and for many of you this is a very special occasion because you're the first in your family to go to college or perhaps you were away for a while and then came, decided to come back but this year graduation has been postponed but I just want to tell you that I see you uh, I congratulate you I salute you so congratulations to all the 2020 graduates. Um, you've worked really hard to this point and um, we're really excited that you have completed your degree and that you're gonna move on either to a job or a transfer school. Um, but don't let this pandemic ruin your celebration. I want you to celebrate with your family and friends. Share with us your success story. Share with your friends and family on social media what this graduation means to you. So please don't be disheartened that because we don't have a graduation ceremony we can't celebrate you we celebrate you virtually so with that being said i hope you and your family stay healthy and well and if you have any questions please reach out to us okay hope you all have a wonderful day and we look forward to serving you at brookhaven or any of the dccd campuses congratulations 2020 graduates and have a wonderful day